What's up guys, Enfields here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be looking at skill add-ons, specifically for Awakening Ranger in this video. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll understand the thought process behind picking your add-ons and are not so keen to just copy an add-on set over because it's not quite that simple. Add-ons vary not just from PvP to PvE, but depending on the grind spot you're at, you'll want to take different add-ons. And depending on the gear for those grind spots, you'll probably want to take different add-ons. And PvP can... Well, that's mostly preference. Um, can also be affected by gear and other things. So, we're going to talk about Awakening in this video. Now, you can see here I have an add-on set list for Awakening. And these add-ons are purely for Ash Forest, um, what I'm currently experimenting with at Ash Forest, which is a very difficult grind spot and the mobs do a ton of damage. So add-ons I take here are to both balance uh, bonus defense to myself as well as offense against the opponent. Um, so obviously I want to do more damage, but also I need to be able to attack the mobs consistently enough and not have to retreat to heal. So with this in mind, this is, this is hopefully a set of add-ons that will help you Understand the concept and and how you can go about picking your own add-ons and hopefully it will help you t uh, think critically about them So I have charging wind and nature's tremble because those are tier three add-ons If you didn't know add-ons are split into three tiers one two and three three being the best in that they give you the highest Every add-on is of the same type. They all give you the same list But the list depends on the bonus depending on what tier so for example a tier three will give you 30 monster damage Whereas a tier 1, like Will of the Wind, would only be able to give you 10 months of damage. So you choose what you want, but I think tier 3s are worth taking. Charging Wind is also the only one that's spammable between the two. Nature's Tremble obviously has a hard cooldown. Charging Wind could be spammed if you really wanted to, to keep the add-on up. So what I chose here is Accuracy 5% and Critical Hit Damage. Both are really nice. The Accuracy is good because Ash Forest is pretty high evasion mobs. So Accuracy for 7 seconds is nice. Also, I have critical hit damage because I do a lot of crits. Rangers, we have a lot of crit skills, 100% crit skills as well. So critical hit damage is really nice here. Moving on quickly with Will the Wind, I did attack speed on that um, and recover 5 HP. The logic behind this is because recovery on HP is hugely important at Ash Forest. Um, you're not really going to mitigate the big damage hits, but what you can do is restore your hit points fast. Will the Wind is kind of my uh, emergency. It's, uh, I use it because it has a lot of hits on the skill itself, and uh, it's a rapid fire ability. So I improved that with casting speed and attack speed um, bonus here, and then recovery 5 HP on hit. Penetrating wind goes with charging wind because you use the two skills together most of the time as a ranger. You know, either from kiss of the wind, sharp feather, or tearing arrow, one of the two, but usually you use these two skills together. Um, so with penetrating wind, charging wind being tier 3, penetrating wind is a tier 2 add-on. I went with plus evasion to myself. I have an evasion set of gear. If I went DR, this would probably not be as helpful. So, um, But I do have evasion gear, so I have evasion and then minus accuracy. So this is like almost getting 8% evasion because I'm minusing their accuracy by 4% given myself. So um, that's why that that's like a defensive set. Um, Waltz of Wind on Awakening, I have uh, attack speed 7% for 7 seconds and recovery HP. Again, this is the skill that I'm going to use a lot. So the reason I picked Waltz of Wind is because they recently buffed it so it doesn't lose damage on cooldown. That means that it's a very effective skill while grinding in Awakening, or much more than it used to be. So um, because I'm using it and it doesn't have a hard cooldown, I put attack speed. That keeps my attack speed up. If you didn't know or figured out by now, Awakening Ranger is incredibly tied to its attack speed. It's why Guardian is such a good buff for us because it gives us a huge attack speed boost and attack speed is huge DPS output on Awakening Ranger. So you want to maintain that as much as possible with skills like Vine Knot and Regeneration that have attack speed on them. So um, pairing that with extra add-ons is very good. And Recovery 10 HP just like Will of the Wind. Um, except I'm not using Will of the Wind like I'm using Waltz of Wind. Will of the Wind is like an emergency. Waltz of Wind is the one I'm using primarily for damage because it's less strenuous on my resources and does more damage anyway. So that's why that's there. Vine Knot is a skill that I'm always going to use on cooldown due to the fact that it has attack speed bonus. Like I said, regeneration is slightly longer cooldown. Uh, it, it was buffed on cooldown regeneration, but still not even close. So Vine Knot, very, very good skill for the attack speed bonus. I did damage against monsters 20. This is because Nature's Tremble won't be permanently up uh, up all the time because of the cooldown. So I have Vine Knot to offset when I don't have the 30 monster damage coming out of that. Monster damage is very, very good in PvE add-ons, so I recommend you take them somewhere. Um, Tremble is always a good one. Minus DP, 10 seconds to the mobs. Again, this is just basically like a mini Tremble. So when Tremble's on cooldown, I'm using Vine Knot to get the bonuses. Not as good as Tremble, but... 
pretty good because it's tier two. So yeah, this is this is what I built for Ash Forest, and it's specifically for this grind spot. You wouldn't want to use this at a lot of other grind spots. You simply don't need the um, the bonuses to your defense unless you are really low geared. So you might consider some of this stuff, like the Walter Win add-ons, if you feel like your DP is too low. This could be true of maybe Sakrai if you're going in with generally lower DP than the recommended. You could try some of these add-ons to offset some of that huge damage you may be taking from the mobs with lower DP. But generally, you want to go full offense. Uh, I just wanted to show you this because it is a more unique situation with Ash Forest being as dangerous as it is comparatively to other grind spots. So I thought it was a good example. Now, how would you want to approach maybe Star's End? So this is something that I see other people have made the mistake of um, versus Ash Forest, or sorry, um, Sakrya versus Star's End and, and maybe even Histrium. If you're grinding somewhere that doesn't have the mobs knocked down, don't put down attack bonus damage on your skills. I see this mistake a lot, so you, you really want to be careful with something like that. Um, Star's End, however, does allow you to knock down the mobs, because when you hit a crystal, the mobs all get knocked down. So down attack damage is okay there. But you might want to use different skills in this. Um, you could still use the rough skill setup I have, but there are other skills you could throw in here too if you wanted to, and it's entirely up to you. The Awakening has a couple good options here, so I wouldn't use Elven Rage, but Wailing Wind is good because you're always using Wailing Wind for the buff and debuff. Wailing Wind is a very good skill, and you could definitely do the add-ons here. It's still a tier 2, so that's really good. Breezy Blade, again, you're going to use Breezy Blades. It's a tier 2. That's a pretty good skill, and it has a low cooldown, although Wailing Wind has no cooldown, so that's really nice. Regeneration does have a cooldown and is a tier 2, so whether you'd use Regeneration, I'm not so sure. I think it's better to have only one, like, Nature's Tremble here, which is the tier 3 anyway, so that's the only hard cooldown one I would probably have, and then I would try to tick tick off lower cooldown or no cooldown skills for the others. So that's entirely up to you, and you really have to think about how you're grinding the mobs. So, for example, uh, with my AP, I don't use Will of the Wind that much these days at, um... Star's End, but I do pull the mobs with Blasting Gust. It is a tier 1 though, so it's swapping a tier 1 for tier 1 in this case. Um, but if I wanted to have a tier 2, I'd probably go for Razor Wind. And Razor Wind is, again, something you're probably using to do Kiss of the Wind immediately. Or if you're lower gear score, you might let Razor Wind do its full damage and then use Kiss of the Wind. In which case, this is fine. You could do monster damage or something on here, or um, critical hit damage or something. So anything like that is a good idea. So generally you just want to think about what you're using. Now if you're grinding very low end grind spots, which I recommend you probably do in succession, you can still use the Awakening if you wanted to. Now if you're going to use the Awakening and you're practically one hitting the mobs anyway, you don't need to worry about bonus damage skills. So in that case you want to focus on two primary skills, which is if you're running out of mana, you want mana back add-ons. You're not going to use HB back, right? So instead of HB on hit, you want mana on hit, which you could do for Waltz of Wind, which I highly recommend something like that. And then for other add-ons you might want to throw in some movement speed this is obviously helpful to move from pack to pack since you're one hitting anyway and again attack speed as well is also helpful for when you one hitting mobs because you'll just attack faster so that's what i would recommend for pve to move on to pvp this is a little bit weirder um because it, it's so playstyle dependent gear dependent and things um so if you are pvping on awakening most of the time you want to focus entirely on your ability to combo if you're lower gear score. So Awakening Ranger does combo very well already. And if you want to highlight that as your mainstay and the reason you're picking Awakening Ranger and you're a lower gear score like lower AP Ranger, a high AP Ranger might not want to enhance your combo any more than it already is because you're already good at it. But if you are a lower gear score Ranger and you want to you know, kill high DP targets, then you might want to focus on things like that. So for that could be back or down attack damage would be very nice as well. Critical hit, hit damage is nice. Accuracy is nice. Lowering your opponent's DP or their evasion is also nice. And then you want to consider the kind of skills. You're always going to use Will of the Wind in most uh, serious damaging combos. But you're also going to throw in other things. So you might want to take Waltz of Wind out here if you're using it purely for comboing. However, because Waltz of Wind recently we got the Bond skills. And you can take Waltz of Wind as a Bond skill which has super armor. In that case, I think Waltz of Wind is good. So you might want to consider keeping it. But it's up to you. You could swap it out for another skill. And then throw in something like... Uh, on Waltz of Wind, you could throw in like minus movement speed or something. So if you don't catch a CC, you could maybe slow your target or you could apply bleeds. Um, all of that is viable and completely comes down to your your playstyle preference, your gear score and things like that for with Awakening. It's maybe not as cut and dry as the Succession, but it's up to you how you really go about it. 
you could even uh, drop, let's say, Penetrating Wind and keep Charging Wind because it's tier 3. And on Penetrating Wind, you could, uh, or, or sorry, uh, Pre-Awakening, you could take Blasting Gust and put, like, some skills on this because you're always going to use Blasting Gust in Awakening. Uh... Honestly, there's, there's, there's a lot of options here on how you want to play it. If you want to play kind of ranged, which is a little hard to do, but you can you can really go for the big bleed build with Tearing Arrow and Blasting Dust on here and still keep Charging Wind as well. Uh, any of this is okay, but again, it comes down to your playstyle. But hopefully this helps you guys. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that this was helpful to you and will help you think more critically towards how to choose your add-ons. I will be making a succession video as well. Um, so I have both specs covered when it comes to add-ons. But yeah, if you have any further questions, feel free to just ask me on my stream. It's the easiest thing. Be like, Anfield, I have this gear. I'm grinding this spot with this spec. What do you think I should take? Do you have any recommendations for me? And we can actually go over it live if you want. But otherwise, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. I'll catch you later.